What's going on today, guys? Primal Sabbath here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the third of three uh, figures that Chicken Fried Toys has sent over to me in the Dime Novels Legends line, and that is the Marshall. And this one I was super excited to see in the mystery box. Uh, so, yeah, I'm a big fan of this color scheme black, gray, you know, obviously, like, I'm a big Snake Eyes fan, so uh, seeing that color scheme on really anything is just enough to, to get me excited. So, anyways, we're going to move him off to the side real quick, and we're going to focus on the card art here. So, again, very nice. And if you want to read the bio of the Marshall and the company info, there you go. Now, what I didn't do for the other ones is he comes with a special kind of accessory piece. So let's move him in kind of close. Let's bring this down a little bit. Maybe let's zoom in because we're going to have to. I've done a, a little thing here, and I'll get to that whenever I get to it. But uh, much like the Badlands Vigilante, he comes with a little bitty, it uh, looks like a sheriff star. So there you go. Well, I guess in his case, it'll be a Marshall star. Uh, so you can take that. And if you want to, I think there's this side, which... I believe, I think this is the side that you would glue. If you want to, you can glue it on the collar uh, of his jacket. Maybe that's the front side. I don't, I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to see. But anyways, you can take it and you can glue it to the collar on his jacket. The Badlands Vigilante came with one too. I just haven't gotten around to gluing it on. And, and again, um, since I do plan on sending the, uh, these back to John, which I may talk him into letting me buy this one because this one's too cool. Uh, you know, you can you can glue it on the figure. Now, what I did do was I took a little bit of sewing string and I tied it around the shotgun here. So instead of a rifle, he's got a double barrel shotgun, which is even more awesome. And the the jacket sculpt here is also different uh, from say like the Badlands Vigilante. Like they have similar kind of similar sculpts. Oop, you can kind of see. Badlands Vigilante's uh, jacket doesn't have uh, as long uh, of the coattails. Let's kind of see that. Uh, their legs, I believe the legs are the same on both of these guys. I believe they're the same sculpt. Uh, different boots, obviously. Uh, he has the spurs. He doesn't. And I think the, the torso is probably the same. Possibly. I don't know. I didn't open it up to check it out. Hats are different, though. So there's that. But as you can see, I kind of have him uh, going for the pistol and kind of well, doing the best I can to get him to kind of grab the rim there on the hat. But the shotgun, like I said, took some took some string. And I, I did cut a little too much, but uh, I tied it <clears throat> to where it would be uh, easily uh, accessible here. And it won't, or it shouldn't, hopefully, uh, slide all the way off. Because it is tight, and there's a little nub there, which is going to be uh, like the sights on the top. And that's just some crazy attention to detail. You know, and then of course you get, uh, I mean, just the, hey, let me get it off of him. If I can, if I get out, get all this, got all this sewing string on here, kind of. Anyways, so yeah, uh, just to clarify, uh, this does not come like this. Um, I, I did this. Hopefully, I think it'd be really cool. Uh, and he, he may already be working on some, uh, like rifle and, and shotgun holsters, especially ones that, like, could maybe be, you know, kind of, uh, you know, slung across the, the, the waist or the torso rather, and, and kind of hanging off the back. I think that would be really cool. Uh, so if he's already working on those, uh, disregard, but if he's not, that's definitely something that can be, that can, can be capitalized upon in my opinion. So there's that shotgun just looks really, really awesome. I really like the way this thing looks. So there is that. And of course the pistol, if you want to do sort of a, a quick draw kind of thing you can you can pose it up however you want to and the, this one I didn't really didn't really break the hands in the the holster the the not the holster the uh, the handle here is just a little too thick for this hand for these fingers maybe it'll be different if I can get that index finger through the, yeah so you can see on this one in particular just the the shape of the holster is not ideal uh, for these fingers. So maybe it'll be different on this one. I mean, and if that's the case, fine. I mean, that works. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to complain too, too much about it, but okay. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be kind of the, the same problems, uh, just with this particular handgun. So that's kind of a bummer, but 
Uh, it happens. He does, it seems like most of the handguns are uh, sculpted differently, and this is probably super accurate to who this is, uh, you know, who this is, but to who this isn't, right? You know what I'm saying? Looks kind of familiar, but uh, we'll get away from that. As with all of the uh, Dime Novel Legends figures, I did run him over, uh, or run some hot water over him. I gotta learn the English language a little bit better. Uh, and his shoulders are uh, much easier to move around than the ranch hands uh, were, which I kind of talked about in the ranch hand video that uh, this guy, his shoulders were easier, easier, easier eater to kind of manipulate. Uh, and they are, so... There is that, which I held him under the water probably a little bit longer than the ranch hand. So there's that. And again, I went flat side up for that just because I think the, the rotation here, I don't think that, I think, I think that breaks the sculpt up too much. It doesn't look as good. So just as far as, you know, uh, joint orientation goes. So there is that. There we go. But yeah, this color scheme is great. And it's like there's just enough brown in here to break it up from the boots and the belt and the holster. Uh, I think it's killer. I think it's awesome. Of course, the hat can come off and, um, you know, you got that move around. The promo images showed this chain gold. I like it a lot better silver. That's me personally. I don't feel like uh, the marshal should be uh, bling blinging it out. You know what I'm saying? So there is that. And that's also another sculpting difference from this kind of longer coattail jacket than, than what the shorter one that's on the Badlands Vigilante. And, of course, the classic handlebars mustache. This is too cool. And I'm pretty sure I had the hat on right the first time. I think you do it with uh, this. And see, I don't know if this is a little paint mishap here or if that's supposed to be there. That's supposed to be there. That's kind of how I judged like what the front was. So it may be a mishap, but it looks like just some some testers flat black could clear that up if it is a mishap or you could just spin it around the other way kind of get it like that i don't know i like it I like it better this way so there you go you get some nice head tilt out of these i don't think i was focusing heavily on the head tilt and of course even with all this clothing you can get some some good kind of uh rocker action uh waist movement here out of this joint uh it's going to you know, it's going to affect this a little bit, but uh, it is what it is. And, and I guess I'll focus some more on articulation since I kind of neglected that. You know, you get like your standard double joint uh, knee. Let's see. Let's put him back on the stand, see if he can, the stand will balance him. There you go. So that's really where the stand shines, man. You can kind of put uh, any, any and all the balance sort of right here on this one. Uh, you know, on any of these sides, really, and, and sort of get some some kind of mid movement poses out of them. Again, I think that's just a, gr a great design, just a great design all around. So, anyways, let me uh, let me go ahead and get his shotgun back onto his uh, person, and we'll do a quick comparison and with with kind of uh, the four that are that are here with me, and and like this is. If I had to recommend, like, if, if it was, like, you had you had one to buy, or, like, maybe if you had, like, two to buy, um, this guy would definitely be one of those two, and I would all, I would obviously uh, recommend the Badlands Vigilante. I was a big fan of that one. But say Badlands Vigilante is a little bit out of your price, uh, I would definitely go with the Ranch Hand. Um, it's just a, I don't know, there's something kind of uh, elegant, I guess, about the pinstripes, right? And he's he's got, you know, the... The weapons loadouts, I think, are really, really solid for him. But yeah. So, anyways, let me get let me get them all posed back up, and uh, we'll do we'll do that, and we'll do some final thoughts. All right. So here we got them all posed up, and of course with uh, the old the old faithful cowboy snake eyes here. And uh, man, these uh these dude, these look incredible. Like this these have like an incredible shelf presence, and and like there's nothing out there that can that can really even kind of compare with these. And like, this is what I thought was really awesome about this line. Like, you know, there's uh, 101 military toy lines. You got Marvel stuff. You even have some like fantasy stuff, uh, you know, with like boss fight studio and things like that. And, and those are all well and awesome. And they all have a place on my shelf. Right. And, uh, you know what? I'm just going to kind of remove snake eyes just for a moment to kind of focus on these. Um, but snake eyes did look, he does look really good with these. Like this is, 
this is incredible. And I think if you have more of these, and I believe John's working on uh, horses and things like that to really kind of amp up uh, the displayability. And then, of course, Boss Fight, I think, is, I think Boss Fight's got like a Pegasus or something like that coming out, which is also really cool. Uh, but these really do. These, these, these figures offer a lot, I think, especially if you're a three and three quarter inch collector and you kind of have an affinity for uh, the Wild West uh, sort of, you know, just point in history. And that's, you know, that's one of my favorite points in history. Um, you know, kind of like Greek mythology and, uh, you know, Egyptian, uh, ancient Egyptian stuff. And, and, and the, the, like, it's just so crazy that I'm like, I'm like the, those two things are kind of like sort of close. And let's say Greek mythology. I mean like ancient Greece type stuff. And then like, you know, moving into just like the Western, moving into like the 1800s. It's, I have a really weird sense of like things that I really like. And, and it's those things, you know, so it's those things. So like, you know, boss fight did the Spartans and they did like this barbarian type stuff. They even did some kind of like, uh, uh, what's, what's, what is it? The, the, the sort of, I guess like, uh, I don't want to say ancient England, but you know, some of the, some of the, like the old English stuff, right. With like dragons and things like that. Um, and then chicken fried toys came along then, you know, they're, they're doing, you know, cowboys and, and historically accurate type cowboys. This guy is probably going to really hurt his uh, hip if he shoots that gun like that. But, you know, I mean, you get the point. Like, you can do some some really sweet dynamic posing uh, with these stands and just with the figures in general. They do have uh, a very special kind of presence all on, all on their own, um, you know, and, and it's it's done really nice. And, and the Marshall here really, really uh, adds to, uh, I think, uh, that sort of display. There is another figure that has a lot of black on him, and um, he's simply titled The Man in Black, so there's that, uh, you know, but there, there's going to be more, uh, John does have some more coming, I think he's going to be working on some Native Americans next, which I'm super excited for, I definitely want uh, some of those, uh, whenever whenever they do, whenever they're get, kind of getting ready to come out, and I believe, again, he does have an order up for, if you want to kind of build your own buckaroo, um, you know, he's got some, some already good paint choices. I'm going to pick one up, uh, for myself that I, that I do plan on kind of painting myself, kind of going with the whole, uh, black and gray color scheme, uh, for that. It's just, you know, just cause I, I, you know, I kind of have the customization bug. So I do plan on getting, getting some of those if the order period is still open. Uh, but you know, if, if it's not, like I said, man, you know, check, check out some of these figures. These are, these are great figures. And like, here's just a standard, I guess, non cowboy <laughs> snake eyes. If you want to, you know, if you want to see, I mean, they scale well with other one eighteenth, three and three quarter inch stuff. And I, I don't know, man, it's, it's a blast. It's awesome having all these on, on the same shelf. So definitely, you know, if, if I had to, like I said, if I had to pick, uh, these two just for my personal taste are what I'm kind of like most excited with, uh, happiest with, but like, I really do like the, the ranch hand and the trail boss is really awesome too. Like, I mean, you get some different sculpt options here, uh, with the pants and the legs. I mean, you get it for both of or all except for these two, like these two are just like pretty much similar from the waist down more or less, but, but yeah, you get, you get a lot of really good versatility out of this line. So I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't already, um, you know, order some, they're, they're fun figures to play with. You gotta do a little maintenance at first when you take them out of the box, but um, it's totally worth it. So anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box and I will check you guys in the next video whenever that'll be. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.